Hi everyone, welcome to another informative video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we are going to discuss 10 questions from pharmaceutical chemistry one subject. So this is a subject wise MCQ video. We already covered first part of this video. You can check the description for the link. So let's begin this session. The first question of this video is which one of these is a systemic and acid? Which one of these is a systemic and acid? Options are option A calcium carbonate, option B sodium bicarbonate, option C potassium sodium tartrate, option D none of the above. So which is the systemic and acid? Simple question. Hope everyone knows the answer. The correct answer for this question is option B that is sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is a good example for systemic acid. So we can study about the acid. Andacids are classified into mainly two categories. One is systemic acid, another one is non-systemic acid. As the word indicates, systemic means it is getting absorbed into the systemic circulation. That is systemic acid. Systemic acids are those acids which are getting absorbed into the systemic circulation from the gut. That is the systemic acid. It can cause systemic alkalosis. Okay, it may cause systemic alkalosis. Examples are sodium bicarbonate, sodium citrate, and potassium citrate. These are the example for systemic acid. The second category of acid is non-systemic acid. Non-systemic acid means these are the acid which are not getting absorbed into the systemic circulation. That is non-systemic acid, so it cannot cause systemic alkalosis examples are magnesium hydroxide aluminum hydroxide etc okay so magnesium hydroxide and aluminum hydroxide is coming under non-systemic acid while sodium bicarbonate is coming under systemic acid hope you got it one another important point regarding this antacid, especially in case of magnesium and aluminium hydroxide is magnesium compound can cause diarrhea. Okay, one of the adverse effects of magnesium containing antacid is it can cause diarrhea. In case of aluminium hydroxide, it can cause constipation. Okay, hope you got it. Magnesium compound can cause diarrhea while aluminium compound can cause constipation. This is also an important point about this question. So we will move to the next question, question number two. Question is bleaching powder is prepared by the action of chlorine on. How bleaching powder is preparing? Okay, bleaching powder is prepared by action of chlorine on. Options are calcium carbonate, option B, calcium hydroxide, option C, calcium oxide, option D, calcium chloride. Okay, bleaching powder is prepared by the action of chlorine on. The correct answer for this question is option B, that is calcium hydroxide. Chlorine and calcium hydroxide will react together and form bleaching powder or calcium hypochlorite bleaching powder is also known as calcium hypochlorite calcium hypochlorite is another name of bleaching powder other name for the bleaching powder is chlorinated lime it's also called chlorinated lime because chlorine is reacting on calcium hydroxide this calcium hydroxide has got a synonym that is striked lime okay chlorine will react on striked lime and it will give chlorinated lime or bleaching powder or calcium hypochlorite hope you got it so calcium hydroxide is also known as striked lime while bleaching powder is also known as calcium hypochlorite or chlorinated lime another option that is option c calcium oxide calcium oxide is known as quicklime quicklime calcium hydroxide was slated lime while calcium oxide is quicklime hope you got these things now we are moving to the next question question number three cryolite is a cryolite is a options are sodium fluoride option b sodium metaphosphate Option C, sodium aluminium fluoride. Option D, sodium monofluorophosphate. So what is cryolite? 
The correct answer for this question is option C that is sodium aluminium fluoride. Cryolite is sodium aluminium fluoride. Cryolite is a mineral. It is not that much common. So it is a mineral found in Greenland. Previously it was used as a source of aluminium because it is sodium aluminium fluoride. Okay. Next question, we are going to the next question. Before that, we know that one important point regarding this option B, sodium metaphosphate. It has got another synonym that is called medral salt. Sodium metaphosphate is called medral salt. Medral salt. Now we are going to the next question, question number four. Calamin is a, what is calamin? Calamin is a, options are zinc oxide, option B, zinc oxide with the traces of manganese oxide, Option C, zinc oxide with the traces of ferric oxide. Option D, zinc carbonate. Okay. Calamin is a, the correct answer for this question. This question is repeated many times. So the answer for this question is option C, that is zinc oxide with the traces of ferric oxide is called calamin or calamin lotion. Why calamin lotion has got the pink color? Because of which compound calamin lotion has got its famous pink color? The answer is ferric oxide. Ferric oxide causes the color of calamine lotion. Okay, pink color of the calamine lotion is due to the presence of ferric oxide. Ferric oxide is here used as an antipruritic agent. Antipruritic agent. That means it relieves the itching. So ferric oxide will relieve the itching. And what is the function of zinc oxide here? Zinc oxide is acting as an antiseptic and astringent. In calamine lotion, zinc oxide is acting as antiseptic and astringent, while ferric oxide is acting as antipruritic agent. Now we are going to the next question, question number five. Usol is a solution of, usol is solution of. What is usol? Usol, you know, Edinburgh University solution. It is the Edinburgh University solution. So what is usual? Usual is option A, 1.25 percentage weight per volume of boric acid. Option B, 1.25 percentage weight per volume boric acid and 1.25 percentage weight per volume chlorinated lime. Option C, 1.25 percentage of chlorinated lime. Option D, none of the above. What is usual? So here in the option B, you can see 1.25 percentage weight per volume chlorinated lime. What is chlorinated lime? It is bleaching powder. We already discussed it in the second question. Okay, chlorinated lime is also called bleaching powder. So what is the answer for this question? The correct answer for this question is option B. That is, it is a mixture of 1.25 percentage weight per volume of boric acid and 1.25 percentage weight per volume of bleaching powder or chlorinated lime. Okay, so we are moving to the next question. Question number six. Washing soda is washing soda is what is washing soda? What is the chemical name of washing soda? Options are option A sodium carbonate, option B sodium sulfite, option C sodium bicarbonate, option D soda lime. So what is the correct answer for this question? That is washing soda is simple question washing soda is option A that is sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is known as washing soda. So what about sodium bicarbonate? Sodium bicarbonate is called Baking soda, okay. Baking soda. Washing soda is sodium carbonate, and baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. Next question. Question number seven. Lead dithione complex possess. Lead dithione complex possess. Options are green color. Option B violet color. Option C yellow color. Option D red color. So what is the color of lead dithione complex? This one we studied in the limit test for lead. So what is the limit test for lead? So limit test for lead is based upon the formation of violet color in the chloroform due to the reaction of lead immunity with the dithione to form lead dithione complex. Thus lead dithione complex has got violet color. The correct answer for this question is Option B, violet color. I will repeat once more. What is the principle behind limit test for lead? 
let limit test is based upon the violet color formation in chloroform due to the reaction between lead impurity and dithisone to form lead dithisone complex this lead dithisone complex has got violet color this violet color is compared with the standard solution that is the limit test for lead now we are moving to the next question question number eight Iodine is more soluble. Iodine is more soluble. Options are option A water, option B alcohol, option C chloroform, option D all of the above. The question is iodine is more soluble. It is not asked it is soluble. It is asked more soluble in option A water, option B alcohol, option C chloroform, option D all of the above. The correct answer for this question is option C that is chloroform. Iodine is slightly soluble in water. Okay, iodine is slightly soluble in water and soluble in alcohol, but 1 in 10. That means 1 ml of iodine is soluble with 10 ml of alcohol. Okay, and iodine is freely soluble. It is freely soluble with either chloroform and carbon disulfide okay so iodine is more soluble in either chloroform car and carbon disulfide so here in the option chloroform is there so we had to select option c as the correct answer now we are moving to the next question tartar emetic is what is tartar emetic or tartar of emetic options are potassium acid tartrate option b sodium potassium tartrate option c potassium antimony tartrate option d none of the above tartar emetic is option c is the correct answer that is potassium antimony tartrate potassium antimony tartrate is also called tartar emetic or tartar of emetic it is used as emetic and also it is used as an expectorant it is used as an emetic and an expectorant now we are moving to the next question question number 10 10th question indian pharmacopoeia has been published by who publishes indian pharmacopoeia options are central government option b central drug laboratory that is cdl option c ministry of health and family welfare option d central indian pharmacopoeia laboratory who publishes indian pharmacopoeia the correct answer is option c that is ministry of health and family welfare ip that is indian pharmacopoeia is published by ipc that is indian pharmacopoeia commission on behalf of ministry of health and family welfare okay so ip is published by ipc on behalf of ministry of health and family welfare so you understood this 10 question thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please make thumbs up and also subscribe the channel and press the bell button so that you will not miss any updates from my channel thank you